Alright, so we're going to make it short tonight. I am exhausted. Today was second day of band camp, second real day of band camp, and uh, feels like it's been a week. <laughs> I am exhausted. Every muscle in my body aches, and I kind of just want to go to bed. <laughs> um, let's see, interesting things that happened today. We learned how to march in a box this morning in marching practice. And uh, we also learned today how to do something called the across the floor. You march straight forward for eight counts, and then you turn the upper half of your body left and keep marching forward for eight counts. And then you keep your upper body facing the same direction, but you turn your feet all the way around so you're marching backwards for eight counts. And then you face forward again for your upper body faces what would be forward for you again for eight counts. You're still walking backwards. And then, uh, you do it the opposite. No, then you uh, face left again. You pivot, so you're facing right, but you're walking forwards now, so you're to the same direction. And then you face forward, and you stop at the end of that. And it's hard. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, it's hard. The boxes were harder, though, I think. It was really weird. Like, you'd think just walking in a box wouldn't be that complicated and across the floors would be insanely complicated but no I found across the floors much easier I think it's because it's easier to dress that way dressing by the way is looking down your lines and keeping lined up has nothing to do with actual clothes um, but uh, it's easier to stay in line because you're looking at all your different possible focal points and so it's a, heck of a lot easier to see where you're going and everything um, let's see, sectionals and the music rehearsal today was interesting. Uh, visited Benner Library today, that was fun. Got my first library book as a college student. It was kind of cool, I felt really powerful. <laughs> I probably shouldn't feel quite that powerful checking out a library book, but I did. And uh, I got a, what book did I get? Where did I put my bag? I don't know, I stuck it on the floor somewhere. Anyway, I think it's called Thorn in My Heart. And it looked interesting. It's some kind of a historical fiction. And it's pretty much all that looked interesting right now. Well, it's the beginning of, like, a four-book series. So, you know, I have to get that. I'm taking this off. I have to get that one first. And, uh, so, what else did I do today? Lunch was good. Dinner was better. It was really yummy. Um, tried to take a nap after I got back from Benner at uh, lunch today. Got stuck watching TV instead. <laughs> well, not really stuck. I just kind of ended up watching TV. I probably should have just crawled into bed and died. But, uh, let's see. Got internet access in Benner today. That was nice. I actually was able to check my email and my Facebook and my Twitter and get everything done that I needed to get done and everything like that. And, uh, let's see. Oh! evening marching rehearsal got rained on. We got kind of dripped on, not really sprinkled, but not quite rained. It was kind of just dripped. <laughs> and uh, so we were all nice and wet by the end of that, and I really need a shower now because my hair is nasty, and I stink, and I'm sweaty, and it's probably more information than you needed. But, uh, yeah. But we got sprinkled on, and I took my flute in to get repaired today. I was supposed to get an estimate from King Music, which is the music store that's like a 15-minute bike ride from campus, which is really nice. And we had devotional today. That was kind of interesting. We broke off into groups, and then we broke off into small groups. And uh, that was kind of interesting. We got talking, and it was really cool. Um, and I got talking to my section leader, Faith, who was on the, er, in the math club here. So I found out there's a math club, and I'm really excited. I'm probably more excited about that than I should be for someone who hates math classes, but loves math teams and stuff like that for some reason. I don't know. I guess it's because I'm really good at math, and the competitive side of me says, yes, this is something we're good at. Let's go for it. And the other side of the artistic side of me says, I really don't want to learn this today. So, you know, there goes classes, in comes team! So, you know. But uh, we were talking about musicals and stuff like that, and she's actually worked backstage in theater in high school, and so 
she has some of the same interests. It's kind of cool. And uh, her friend Sam, who's also who was section leader like last year or something, apparently, with her, uh, she was talking about something with graphics, and they discovered that I know what a pika is. And so they were like, oh, she's like both of us, and it felt kind of weird. But it was kind of cool, too. Because so I had something in common with these people. So, and, uh, Amy. Yes, Amy. Who is also, uh, no, she's a drum major. Yes, she's a drum major. She, uh, wants to loan me some DVDs that sound kind of awesome. Because I mentioned that I like cheesy classic science fiction. And she offered to loan me movies called Tremors which apparently star Kevin Bacon, so this should be interesting. Um, texted Brian a little bit today, miss him a lot. Um, haven't heard from Liz, I sent her a picture of Snooper on my bed because she gave him to me, and uh, she hasn't gotten back to me yet, I don't know if she got it yet though, so, you know, whatever. Talked to Caitlin on Facebook today, that was kind of cool, I miss her too, I miss her idiocy. <laughs> Well, not really idiocy, just kind of her blondness. She has the same color hair I do, but she's so blonde, it's insane. <laughs> but, uh, let's see. What was I talking about? I'm lost. I'm so tired. I really am. <laughs> I'm so tired. Um, oh, I was talking about people I've talked to today. Haven't called my family yet. Kind of need to do that. Kind of don't want to, because I just kind of want to go to sleep. But I probably will, and I'll probably use up like 10 of my cell phone minutes doing it, and I'll probably be stuck on the phone forever talking to my little sisters who are adorable, but who can't shut up. But it's kind of a cute thing, and I do kind of miss them a little bit. I hate to admit it, but I do actually kind of miss them. I know. Weird, right? But, uh, let's see. Got stopped by security on the way back to my dorm tonight, just on the way in here. I was parking my bike behind the building where the bike rack is, as always, and the bears are in the dorm right behind mine, so security's like, hey, can I help you with something? And I'm like, hey, marching band, parking my bike. And they're like, oh, okay, I'm just supposed to check everyone. I'm like, no, I know, I'm doing your job. You're doing your job. It's okay. Moving on. <laughs> so, yeah. It was still raining. I stuck a towel in my bag when I left for devotionals so I could clean off my bike seat. I'm getting used to biking around campus all over the place, so uh, that should be good. I'll, I still have to find the nursing building, because apparently I have two classes in there. I'm not taking any nursing classes. I'm not a nursing major or anything, but two of my classes are in the nursing building. I don't know, it's weird. Um, the name of the building, I think, is Wisner? Yeah, Wisner Nursing. So, uh, but my honors class and my sociology class are both in there. Whatever. That's the only two classes I'll have that won't be in Larson. So, go figure. But, uh, I think that's pretty much it for today. It's kind of a, besides the rain, it was kind of an uneventful day in comparison to the last two days. Um, my feet hurt. I think I bruised the balls of my feet pretty badly just walking on them. <laughs> we use them a lot to march for like everything, so, you know, they hurt. I cracked my toe earlier, like popped it. It felt really, really, really good. Um, so, yeah. And I find it funny that when we stretch before we march, they have us point our toes in our tennis shoes, which is kind of like not possible because of the backs of the shoes, you can't actually point your toe all the way, because without shoes on, I can get my foot completely in line with my leg, so it's just completely flat. In shoes, it's like this. <laughs> so, you know, but whatever. Um, I might try taking my shoes off tomorrow to get a better stretch, but of course the field will be nice and muddy, and my socks will get soaked if I do that. So, maybe not. But, uh, yeah, I'm too tired for this. So, good night, everyone. Talk to you tomorrow, probably, assuming I don't, like, pass out tomorrow <laughs> from exhaustion. And, uh, have a nice life.
It doesn't want to stop. Stop! There we go. No. Hey! 